Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Craft in Priscilla here, doing a little tutorial walkthrough kind of thing uh, for the envelope booklet that I made for uh, the hashtag RTC season. It was the season of the witch challenge. Um, if you were crafting along with me, I promised that I would show you how I put it together. So here we are. So what I'm starting out with are about nine strips of paper, I think. Uh, they're one inch wide which is a good size, um, and I'm just scoring them down the middle. Uh, I'm not really worried about it being super exact, so that's why I'm sort of just using the middle of the board, because I just need this as a reinforcement for the folds of the envelopes, because these envelopes are a little bit older. Uh, they're not like new paper, so they're a little bit older. I don't really trust them. I don't feel super confident about them uh, holding up to the test of time. So just to add a little bit of reinforcement, but not a lot of bulk, um, I decided to go with paper over fabric for this to just reinforce these edges. So that's why I scored these, and I'm just going to stick these uh, little pieces into the middle. The The whole crux of this tutorial basically just depends on uh, repetition and caution. So you want to be careful and mindful of how you're putting your stuff together, um, especially if you have windows and stuff like that or pockets, because how you glue things in here will impact how things fit into your book. So you just want to be really careful. So what I have is a cover piece. I already did those off camera just so that we could get into it. So I just covered it with some paper. I made the back a pocket. Um, and then I'm going to use the same reinforcements for the front and the back. And then just sort of keep an eye on where I'm placing these things. The front and the back cover uh, pieces, you're going to put the reinforcement on the inside. But for the other pieces, you're going to put the reinforcement on the outside. Um, so it'll be the edge that's facing out of the book as opposed to the edge facing directly into the book. And then don't worry if like you have a gap in between your envelopes as you're doing this. You can always come back through like I did with a marker and just color it in so it doesn't stand out super white um, but it shouldn't take away from anything if you can see a little bit of the envelope at the end of this process a lot of the elements in this little envelope book are chunky so I expected to see a gap in between these envelopes regardless um, but the, the entire crux of this process is basically just gluing in your reinforcement and then gluing in your pockets to make sure that your pockets close and that the envelope itself is closed at the end. Um, and I wanted to remove all the tags that I had in these before I glued anything in because, of course, I don't want to glue the envelope flat from one envelope into my tags or anything like that. So just, just be mindful as you're going and take your time. Definitely don't rush as you're going through this. Um, there's not a lot I can say about how to do this. It's essentially just putting the flat from one envelope into the next envelope and stacking it up and as long as you kept all your envelope flaps the same way everything works out fine and like I said the cover pieces the envelope flaps will go in the opposite direction because they have to go into the first envelope um or the last envelope so that's the only difference between all of this um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick down the reinforcement piece and then glue in the flaps and then where the flaps might be visible or cover up um, like a cutout or a window piece I'll end up trimming those down to fit um, and using the reinforcement as my guide because uh, they're half an inch on each side and none of my windows or pockets that have holes in them like that are visible um, have more than a half like have less than a half an inch gap so we're still pretty good to use that as a guide and then like I said I'm just going to go back through and make sure that the envelope itself is closed and you can see there's that little white line I just end up taking a Posca pen at the end of this and um, filling in that space and sorry this part is blurry because my camera likes to surprise me by just randomly zooming out of focus once I start recording um, I'll get it don't worry um, but it's the same process, just over and over and over again. I really wish I had a better way to explain this to you guys. Um, this is not like a professional tutorial tutorial in that sense, uh, because I just really don't know how to explain this except for rinse, dry, repeat. <laughs> it's the same thing. Stick down your, uh, your reinforcement and then tuck it into, or add glue and tuck it into your next envelope on, in the sequence. And like I said, see this one has a window so I ended up trimming back the flap so it's not visible on the other side. And then I'm going to come through on the other side and make sure that the envelope is closed. Um, so it just depends on how you choose to glue your flaps. If you glue the flap on the inside then you will need to go to the back of the pocket and glue the pocket closed, or, you know, the envelope part closed. If you glue it on the inside you'll have to go to the inside and glue the inside of the pocket closed. And then just be mindful of 
like I said, the windows that you have, but also if you have tags going into your envelope, um, where you place that glue will make a difference. So when you glue the flap in, the flap will glue to one side of the pocket and you'll have to go to the other side to do, uh, to close the pocket. But if you over glue, then your tag might not fit. So you want to be really sparing with your glue, just enough to seal it down on the edge and as close to the edge as possible so that you don't impact how your pocket works. Um, and then worst case scenario, you just have to go back and trim your tag down um, to fit your pocket. That's the worst case scenario. So don't panic if you end up adding too much glue and now your tag doesn't fit. Just trim up the edges a little bit. It'll go back in. It'll be fine. Um, I know it's a little bit hard to come to terms with sometimes when we make mistakes like that, but it's absolutely recoverable. So don't, don't panic if you do over glue. Um, and even in this process, I ended up making a mistake because I glued the front piece closed when I still needed it to, um, to put the cover in. So I had to go back really quickly with my bone folder and prize it open. Um, and unfortunately, the glue that I'm using glues down really fast. So there was a little bit of tearing um, on the inside, thankfully, uh, but it wasn't anything that I couldn't recover and, and fix as the time went on. Um, so I'm just essentially going through and making sure that I get a really good bond between these because I want this envelope journal to journal you know the pages to flip out and open easily and um I will say that these little strips are not the exact length of my envelopes just to give it a little bit of wiggle room so that I could get them in and out easily they're about an eighth of an inch shorter than the envelope so the envelopes are five by seven these strips are uh one by six and seven eighths just I, I should have said that up top sorry for that but that is what I did so that I could get these in and out of the envelope very easily without having to fight against the glue and um, any size crystal so again, I had to trim this one down because I have a window on the back. And then this is where I made the boo-boo um, because I didn't need this to close yet. So you'll see I'm, I'm a little bit confused when I get to put the cover down uh, because I needed that flap to be open to stick the cover pieces together. So <laughs> a little bit of seam ripping or cutting open with my bone folder aside. I go back, I reinforce the cover piece, and then I'm able to tuck it in there the way that I need to. So no worries, no panics. It, it was very fixable. Um, and like I said, I didn't do anything special for the cover pieces yet. I'm going to decorate them off camera. Um, and then I will come back to do the full flip through with you guys so we can like go over all the magical goodies. Um, but it will, uh, it will be decorated by the time you guys see it again. Uh, I didn't want to add that to this video because I didn't want to bulk it up too much because I'm just here to show you how to assemble your books and I'm sure that you have your own cover designs and stuff like that. And um, yeah, this last piece got a little bit wonky, but it got in there. It's only because I had to, to rip it open, so don't worry. Everything came out to be very flush and very even. And then um, to cover up the outside edge of that, I'm going to end up uh, coming through with a couple layers of lace and a little bit of fabric. But you can see the book books. <laughs> it does the thing I wanted it to do. It's out of focus. Again, I'm very sorry. I did not know this clip was out of focus. Um, I really, really need to like figure out the focus settings on my camera because it only recently started doing this. It wasn't doing this before. There we go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add in some lace. And I'm only gluing it on the outside edges because I don't actually need it to stick to the spine. I will add glue to the uh, final fabric piece that I use to the spine. But I didn't want to like goop it up by adding in a bunch of like glue onto the actual spine part. Um, I just wanted to have the necessary amount of glue um, to stick the fabric down because I didn't want the glue to impede how it opens and closes. So I have this little scrap of like tarot card fabric that is perfect for this one and I'm going to go around and ink up the edges really quick just to make it uh, just to get rid of some of the white that's on the edges from the threads and then um, I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to add the glue to the fabric and just enough to uh, make sure that it sticks. Like I said I don't want the glue to impact how this journal opens and closes or anything like that. So just a little light coating of glue against the fabric and that'll cover up um, those little envelope edges and that's our entire tutorial guys. Um, if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments below. If I need to go back and do this slower I absolutely can. I do not mind. Um, just let me know if you need that. Uh, but that's going to be it for me for right now, guys. Uh, definitely come back to see the flip through of our journal. And uh, thanks for joining me. Happy crafting. I appreciate your faces. Until next time, guys. Bye.